so much for co-hosting these segments here. with me of WMNF and WEDU. This last story, an unusual development in the case of Binya Mohammed, the British resident recently released after seven years in U.S. custody, where he claims he was repeatedly tortured, first in secret CIA prison, later at Guantanamo. Binya Mohammed's lawyers, Clive Stafford Smith and Ahmed uh, Gapoor, could face six months in a U.S. prison, the Guardian newspaper revealed last week, because of a letter they sent to President Obama explaining their client's allegation of torture by U.S. Client, uh, agents. Officials from the Department of Defense, who monitor and censor communication between Guantanamo prisoners and their lawyers filed a complaint against Muhammad's lawyers for unprofessional conduct and for revealing classified evidence to the president. The memo the lawyer sent to Obama was completely redacted except for the title. It had urged the president to release evidence of Muhammad's alleged torture into the public domain. Clive Stafford Smith and Ahmed Kapoor have been summoned before a D.C. court on May 11th. I'm joined now in these last few minutes by Clive Stafford Smith, director of the British legal charity, Reprieve. Welcome to Democracy Now. Clive Stafford Smith, you're afraid of being arrested if you come into this country? No, I'm, I'm going to come to the country because I want to face the charges. I mean, the charges are, to my mind, frivolous because it may be confusing to your listeners when you, you say that uh, we supposedly revealed classified evidence and then say it was all censored. It was all censored. There wasn't one iota of classified evidence revealed. But the real question, I guess, here is why the government continues to cover up the evidence of Binya Mohammed's torture. But please explain, because I think this can be very confusing, what it is they said you did in this letter to President Obama. You are Binya Mohammed's lawyer. Well, I wrote a letter to President Obama and attached to it a memorandum that was going to originally be the evidence that showed um, that Binya was tortured. But that evidence we had to submit through the classification review process. So ultimately, the two-page memo of evidence that um, Binyam had been tortured was all redacted, as you mentioned. So it was all blacked out. I mean, even to the president was blacked out. And the only thing left in it was, you know, in Ray, torture of Binyam Mohammed. Uh, what we were trying to do was get President Obama the information he needs to make a judgment as to whether the U.S. should continue to cover up this evidence of torture. And it's paradoxical uh, that the President of the United States is not being permitted to make that judgment in a meaningful way. So you will come to the United States for this May 11th hearing? Oh, my goodness, yes. I mean, I'm, I am, I will say, offended by this process. But nothing would keep me away. I want to clear both mine and Ahmed's name, and I want the real issue to be uh, why the, the government continues to, to cover up the evidence of Binyam's torture. Because how can it be that we as Americans are not allowed to know when our government officials have committed criminal offenses against people like Binyam Mohammed? That, that, that just makes no sense at all. And if indeed someone should be on trial here, it should be the people who tortured Binyam. Well, we're going to leave it there. Clive Stafford Smith, thank you very much for thank this you. update. Uh, we are broadcasting from Tampa, Florida. We're on the road, and we are headed um, today to Asheville, North Carolina, and then we head this evening to Johnson City, Tennessee. We'll be broadcasting from Johnson City PBS tomorrow morning. If you have ideas for stories as we travel around the country, 70 cities, please send them to us at, uh, at stories at democracynow.org. Uh, the next day we'll be in North Carolina. Uh, we'll be going to Guilford College and then we'll be moving on as well to, um, to uh, the uh, Raleigh-Durham area will be flying on to California. We'll also be going, by the way, to Greensboro. Go to our website at democracynow.org. I want to thank our producers, uh, Mike Burke, Sharif Abdelkadus, Aaron Mate, Anjali Kamen, Nicole Salazar, Steve Martinez, Hani Massoud, Aaron Mate. Special thanks to Dennis Moynihan, Elizabeth Press. Our website is democracynow.org. I'm Amy Goodman. Thanks so much for joining us.